Howdy out there, folks. I'm Morgan, and we're in the Jackrabbit Hollow. On today's show, we have a special request for Mrs. Mopsy. Oh, yes, Mrs. Mopsy. Very easy hat to make. I'm just going to tell you the patterns and then what to connect. And I do recommend that when you cut these patterns out, you cut them out in multiples so that you can mix and match and make a lot of hats from uh, just one cutting session. Mrs. Mopsy is a repurposed hat made to be floppy and crazy and it's got a nice little brim for some sun protection. It's a hat you can't mess up because it's meant to be crazy and frilly. It's a game plan. Top. Along with that top we're going to cut out the brim and then separate that band piece is going to look something like this. Just a big long rectangle. Your hat band. The circumference of your head divided by pi. So I have a 23 inch head. 23 divided by 3.14. That's going to help us start to make the top. Now the top and the brim are connected in many ways. Add an inch or so for the seams. She'll give me something like eight. Over eight, maybe eight and a quarter. I'll do eight and a quarter just for security. And mark the halfway point of that. Okay. I want to do it again over here. Let's start on the halfway point. Now cut this shape out. I'm going to cut the top piece and the brim, the brim at the same time. And now we're going to make our brim piece. If you want this to be double sided, all you have to do cloth you want to recycle or repurpose. Four and a half inches. We measure four and a half inches out. Just freehand, so this time I'm going to even it up and make sure that it's all kind of like identical from side to side. Just cut any pieces that aren't folding over uniformly, so they're all flush. Now I'm going to cut out that interior part. So that's going to be the inside, and this is going to be the top. While you're doing this, you can just cut a whole stack out. That's awesome. Brim, ready there? And now I want to make a piece this bit. So set these aside. I'm gonna measure my head from underneath the ear where the hat would rest to flush with the top of the head. It's about four inches. And I'm gonna add some extra for seams, five inches I guess. Go back to the size of my head, which is 23 inches, and I'm going to make sure that <clears throat> that rim can fit around my head and leave room for seams. So there's the 23 bone, 24. Now for the hat band portion, this is a little piece of jean. I'm going to cut the leaves out of that. The next thing all you need to do is attach all your pieces in the right order. Mopsy has the brim right here is tucked in versus Popples who has a frilly crazy brim. Other than that we're just going to attach the brim to the rim, then we're going to attach the top to that, 
or you can do it in whatever order you want. And then we're gonna attach the hat band. The frills get sewn in somewhere. For the Mrs. Mopsy tucked in brim, this is where we're going. Then to get that brim, you just fold it all the way. Taking our top, that's that side piece of this, and the corner of that piece, attach it like this. As you go around, bring it up and guide it through. Just inch your way all the way around. Which leaves us with this. There we go. Take your brim piece, same thing, just guide it around in the circle again. So this is what we have. Take my seam. So that's what I've got now. There it is! It's a little different than Mrs. Mopsy because I put this like little frilly thing and I just kept it instead of cutting it off, but that's like totally up to you. Happy happy.